Well, state emergency officials say they have trained 5,700 first responders on what to do in case of an oil train derailment and explosion. That training is now required for emergency responders after a series of oil train explosions and fires across the country. But as Pat Kelso reports, some lawmakers think the state should do more. Up to 25 trains a day rumbling through Minnesota can carry up to a million gallons of volatile crude oil. State officials fear a deadly derailment and explosion like this one that killed 47 people in Canada. The braking system on the train is an air brake system. That's why Minnesota first responders are taking rail safety training classes like this one in St. Paul. State officials say they've trained 5,700 first responders what to do if an oil train derails. So we like to show them in a classroom setting what the worst case could possibly be and then back down in their training so they feel comfortable when they have to respond. Many, many communities are affected by this. But the ranking Democrat on the House Transportation well, Committee says 375,000 Minnesotans live very close to the railroad tracks and the state needs to do more more track inspectors, see if we can route the most dangerous materials around densely populated areas. These are things we need. So the training is important, but we really need to prevent these accidents from happening in the first place. Burlington Northern, the largest rail carrier in Minnesota, says it spent $300 million for safety improvements in just the last year. And one top firefighter says his department is working closely with the railroads. The rail has been transporting similarly dangerous materials, chemicals, uh, poisonous gases for a long, long time. And you don't hear about it because they're very safe. Well, the spokeswoman for Burlington Northern says the company has reduced re derailments on main lines by 50 percent in the last 10 years. She also says the trains are now lowering their speed to 35 miles an hour in large cities of 100,000. And the railroad conducts daily inspections of crude oil rail lines. But still, this is a very big issue in the state, and the legislature will probably address it again next year. And Pat, we know the state's concerned about oil trains at rail crossings yeah. in many of the small towns. Yep. So why are there so many oil trains here in Minnesota, and they don't seem to be as many in other states? Yeah, it is all of a sudden. We're just lucky, I guess. There's an oil boom in North Dakota, and we are located to the east. It's the perfect place geographically for all of those trains to carry the oil to different parts of the country out of North Dakota. The problem is no one anticipated the oil boom benefits and the challenges. A study from the state of Minnesota says there are 700 miles of train tracks, 683 crossings, and Amelia, any one of those could be dangerous. Yeah, it's a lot of crossings. Yep. Uh, okay. Thank you, Pat. You bet.